Cool. Well, I'm here with Victor Amer in the Cello uh, office in San Francisco, uh, the Cello Community Center. And Victor was telling me that his uh, Swiss Amex card was being rejected here in the US. Is that right? Yeah, that's really painful, actually. <laughs> if you want to pay for, for a hotel, right? Or a coffee. You know what doesn't get rejected anywhere? Yeah, the Cello card, right? With direct settlement on chain. Yeah, hell yeah. And so we're going to show you guys what it looks like here. Uh, we have a POS device and... Um, Actually a special one. Look at this beauty. Cello branded even. Uh, and uh, I just made a coffee for Victor uh, with our... Um, I don't know if you can see my beautiful latte art. Oh, it's Oh, they are beautiful. I, I, I must admit. Uh, and so um, we're gonna we're gonna charge Victor some cello dollars for that coffee. So check it out. Let's see if this will work well. Okay, let's take a look. So, so what do you what do you have over here? So I have a POS device, as I said, a special one, and we're just gonna go for a coffee, right? So Marit made me this beautiful cappuccino. And uh, we're gonna charge $2 for that, or 250 to be precise. So that's my card, uh, my cello card. And it's got your name on it. Yeah, it does. And actually I can even use this number to pay online as well. So it kind of replicates the Visa MasterCard experience or Amex experience in the Web3. And the best thing, I'm happy to share the number because since the private key is directly on the card, no one can actually charge back or charge, charge money from the card. So the scammers, you know, are not able to do anything with that. So again, um, we're gonna pay in cello euros since I'm based in Europe and I have some cello euros on my card. I enter the card pin. Of course, you're not be able to see ah, that. Ah, now we wanna see it. <laughs> right, and then I just tap and pay and that's it. So tell us what's going on over here right now. So I just signed a transaction with my private key. Um, you can see the transaction hash and the transaction is settled directly on the cello blockchain. And uh, I'll go and show you, like you can actually literally just scan this correct code and then uh, see the transaction on blockchain. That's and amazing. we're gonna do that in a second. All right. So Marek, tell me what you're gonna do. So I'm just gonna open the Block Explorer here, just scan the QR code. Here we oh. have the transaction, looks like it's been confirmed uh, at the following block height. Uh, and best of all, you paid for the transaction fee with Cello Euros. Yeah, so so tell me, I mean, transaction fees is obviously one of the big obstacles for, for payments, right? So tell me, how, how big actually are the transaction fees? Oh, look at that beauty. Yeah, I think you, you paid quite the sum here, uh, <laughs> 0. 0.00004 yeah. cello euros, so yeah. I think you can afford that. Yeah, and uh, so like you know, another, another objections of, of many is actually the transaction speed or the, the confirmation speed, so let's look at that. Yeah, I think it took uh, 2.1 seconds to get confirmed. Great, so that actually is a true credit card payment experience, right? And the best thing about that is actually that uh, you settle off chain and the merchant receives cello euros in this case, right? No chargebacks. Perfect. All right, so I have the card, right? I can settle directly on chain. Um, I have the POS, which makes it super simple. But what do you think? Why would the merchants use that? Yeah, so I think obviously fees are a big factor. And um, one of the reasons why credit cards have to charge high fees is because of chargeback risk and fraud. And obviously with um, uh, settling on a blockchain, you eliminate all the risk um, of chargebacks, which allows you to to um, take these transactions with lower fees. So that's one thing that comes to mind. What else? So I guess the fees um, specifically for small businesses are really crucial, right? So uh, usually the interchange is about 
two to four percent, depending on the region. Like some uh, some German smaller retails actually pay up to four percent, which I think is a robbery. So here you can go as low as zero point two five percent, or it or actually even lower because you have directly on chain settlement. And um, this also adds, you know, you can actually embody the full potential of the blockchain and DLT technologies, right? You can use smart contracts for automated payments. Like imagine with every payment, you offset carbon with one of our friends, right? Or with every payment, um, you donate to a charity or to a good cause. Or with every payment. You round it up and donate to the impact market. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But or, or you know, get collect uh, collectibles, get NFTs. Uh, so you can actually create digital experiences around payments that are not possible in the Web3 world. I think that that, that is really great. So uh, let us know if you want your personal cello card, right? Or if you're a merchant and you want to accept cello dollars or cello euros or cello reals, let us know. We'll give you one of those. And uh, yeah. Uh, plug in into the cello ecosystem. Take care, guys. Have a good one.